Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. This is me again, Andrew, and I'm back for another video. Now, today's vlog, I'll be sharing with you my two weeks worth of shopping haul. So, if you're interested, please stay with me and keep on watching. But before that, please don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment your thoughts down below. And also, tap the notification bell so that you'll be notified on my next video. So, if you're ready, then let's crack on. I always love shopping. Wow. And there is no better time to do it than an end season sale. Now, just a disclaimer guys, this video is not intended to brag or flex or show off in any way, okay? I just want to share with you the items that I've got that maybe some of you will find interesting and also I'm gonna be sharing with you some exciting shopping stories. I will group my different purchases into categories, namely accessories, tech, fashion clothing, and bags. So without much ado, let's begin. So, category is, is accessories. Now, first set of accessories that I'm gonna be showing you is from my favorite high street brand, and that is Zara. Aww. So, first of all, this gold and bold necklace. Look at that. I love the chain details on this one. And you know guys, gold bold jewelry will never run out of style. The next item that I'm gonna be showing you is another necklace from Zara. And look at that. So, this is a very unique one. This also was on sale together with the other one. And I love this because it has this gold elongated chain effect with a very unique pendant that looks like fossil. Perfect for your prehistoric inspired outfit. The next <laughs> item that I'm gonna be showing you is another necklace from Zara and ta-da! This one is very reminiscent of Ursula's necklace in the 1989 Disney classic the Little Mermaid, okay? And yes, I bought this item for that very reason. <laughs> so um, I love this because it's very dainty, it's cute, it's, I think it's very creative, and who knows, it might give my voice some star quality. Let's try. <sighs> Now the next accessory that I'm going to be showing you is from this brand. And yes guys, I always dream of owning the gold iconic Medusa necklace, but it's always expensive. However, I got this one on sale and it looks like this one. Look at that. Wow. Look at the Medusa detail, sorry. Look at the Medusa detail, it's perfect. I love it. I love the fact that it also has this little charms here. It's very nice. It's very unique. And um, I think that this is, this is the perfect size for me. It's bold, but it's not too bold because I don't want to end up looking like a rapper or maybe a grandmaster of some Freemason secret society, you know? Versace. Perfect. Versace. Next is this Vulgari Extreme that I've got on sale from the newly opened Harrods Outlet in Westfield, White City. Now this is the UD Toilet version and this is how the perfume looks like. This is made of glass, it's quite heavy, but the top portion actually feels a little bit cheap because it's made of plastic. But Anyways, I always love the woody and aromatic vibes of this fragrance, so. Now, the second to the last item that I'm gonna be showing you under the accessories category is inside this orange carrier bag. And what I've got is the 
Tier der Mess perfume in the Eau de Parfum note. And I've always, always loved this um, perfume, guys. I've been using the Eau de Toilette version since 2014, but unfortunately, I lost it on my flight to Finland this year for my birthday. So I think that it's time for me to get myself another one. And I've got the Eau de Parfum version and it has this limited edition bottle design. Anyways, I love this perfume because of its spicy, woody, and fruity fragrance. And at the same time, this has a patchouli and vetiver base note, which really makes you smell elusive. Now, the last item that I'm gonna be showing you under the accessories category is from my favorite luxury brand, and that is Louis Vuitton. Look at that. And what I've got is this lovely monogram keep out. Whoa! Look at that, guys. I always adore the monogram canvas, especially it's paired with this gold hardware. And just to let you know that this is one of the most difficult to get SLG or small leather goods from Louis Vuitton. However, I got this one online and I am just so lucky, you know, and this also comes with this chain detail that you can attach to your key. And what you can do is to put your key inside the pouch so that you can avoid scratching the interior lining of your bag. Okay. However, this is very versatile because you can also use this one as a card holder. In fact, I am using this as a card holder today. Very stylish, very compact, very versatile Louis Vuitton key pouch. Moving on. Category is... Technology. All right, first purchase under the technology category is this Rode Video Micro Microphone. And I've got this one from Amazon. And you know, one of my hobbies before was like filmmaking and I've always wanted a video camera. However, um, I find it a little bit expensive during that time. So I think that today is the perfect time for me to get myself a video microphone. And I love the video micro because it's very compact. It's plug and play and the build is just insane. It's really good. It's made of metal, high quality. And actually, I'm currently using it right now, so I'm not sure if you're hearing any difference from my previous vlogs, but yes, I'm currently using it right now. Now, the next item that I'm going to be showing you under the technology category is this Sony ZV-1 camera. All right, guys, so honestly, I have to admit that I had some reservations before of whether to get this one or not, because honestly, I already have like a full-blown DSLR from Nikon, and I also have this lovely, gorgeous, and portable A5100 camera from Sony, and of course, my phone, Samsung Note 10 Plus 5G, which captures great quality images and video, and the stabilization is just out of this world. I thought that it would be a redundancy. But because I was anticipating for the future, especially when I travel, I don't want to exhaust my phone by using it to capture great quality videos at the same time using it to navigate through Google Maps. So I decided to pull the trigger and get this. And guys, honestly, this camera is really, really compact. Like wow. it can fit in your pocket. And this camera shoots 4K and the autofocus is impeccable. In fact, I'm currently using it right now to record this video. So I don't know if you see any difference from my previous videos. So let me know in the comment section below. Now, what's next? Category is... Fashion. Now guys, the following items that, that I'm gonna be showing you is from my favorite high street brand and that is... Zara. Okay, so let's start off with this one. So I've got myself some knit jumper. Look at that. I love the color. It is very nice. It's dainty and it's versatile. In fact, you can actually wear this jumper during spring, 
summer and also autumn or maybe you could also wear this one during winter and the creme de la creme about this jumper is the neckline look at that sexy isn't it but at the same time elegant now the next item that i'm going to be showing you is this organza bomber jacket and straight to the point guys this doesn't protect you from anything cold warm nothing it protects you from nothing but i still got this one because i love the idea of a sheer bomber jacket and because this was also on sale for nine pounds and i think that this would be like a perfect pop of color now guys moving to our last zara pick is this mustard oversized double breasted blazer wow. this piece screams summer and i love the fact that it's oversized because it's trendy but at the same time it feels very casual and classy you know the next two pieces that i'm going to be showing you are from the shopping that i did a few weeks ago from versace and here they are look at that Oops, sorry <laughs> So, big black matte box, and what's inside? Let me show you. With big black rectangular box inside, okay? Now, let me open this for you guys, just one moment. All right, but before anything else, I just want to inform you that this product that I've got from Versace is really hashtag goals, especially for those people who love fashion in general. But I know that this is very unnecessary and this is more like an indulgence. But I was able to find a perfect reason to buy it anyway and that is for the wedding. Now without much ado, meet my... Ta-da! The Versace Barocco bathrobe. Look at that. Wow. Sorry I'm not able to um, show this to you properly on camera. But I will do a B-roll so that you'll be able to see this properly. Look at that. I love how high quality this is made and the um, luxurious feel to it. And I also love the um, cuff sleeve details as well as the belt details. Look at that. And the other one that I got, guys, is also a bathrobe. But this time, this is in the color Fuchsia. <laughs> And this is for my fiance and you know what guys this is really really nice and literally when Stefan my Versace SA um, showed me this in the store my heart literally skipped a beat and I know for, for that very moment that Inez will love this one and just an, an additional information guys these bathrobe has this like um, hologram and um qr code to verify authenticity okay and yeah i can't really wait for a pre-wedding photo shoot now we are down to our last category which is category is bags now this bag that i got is from my favorite luxury brand and that is Ta-da, lv now what i've got is this Speedy Bandelier 35 in monogram canvas. Look at that. How classic this one looks. And, um, well, technically, guys, this is not for me. This is for my fiance. And this is her first ever Louis Vuitton bag. And I think that her choice is really, really very good because I think personally that if you're planning to build up your Louis Vuitton collection, you will never go wrong if you start with a classic like the. Um, never fool the speedies or the almas although I think that this bag is a little bit big for her because um, it's size 35 I think it's the biggest size for the bandolier but um, I actually suggested a size 30 for her but she insisted that she wants the size 35 because she's not only going to use this as an everyday bag but she's also intending to use this as a travel bag. Now I just want to tell you a background story on how I purchased the bag because it's a little bit interesting. Now I decided to go to the biggest Louis Vuitton store here in London which is the um, New Bond Street branch to um, get this bag. It wasn't really my first time there because I also purchased my Palm Springs 
on that same branch October last year. But what's interesting is that when I asked my lovely SA to see this bag, she was checking something and then all of a sudden she told me that I cannot purchase the bag for the moment because I had some monogram purchases for the last two months and then I was actually a little bit shocked because yeah, I did purchase some monogram items but there were not like a lot, like maybe I just had like three products all in all. But then she told me that um, just to give customers chance to purchase their like coveted products, that's why they are limiting customers in purchasing monogram items. And because I, I already did had purchased quite a lot from the past two months, she said that I can no longer purchase monogram item and I need to wait for like three months. However, she said, which is a little bit sketchy, she told me that if I wanted to buy like um, leather products from Louis Vuitton, then I still can, but not the monogram products, okay? So I was actually a little bit confused because I think that it's absurd because technically I know that the Speedy is actually one of the best sellers, but then I also know the fact that they always have like a lot of stocks for the Speedy. So I just said, okay, okay, that's fine. And, but when I check online, there were no restrictions or anything on my account. I still can add monogram products to, I mean, to the cart and probably like um, check out with it. So I don't really know with, uh, I mean, where this policy is coming from. That's the first time that I've heard about this. But um, I just went out of the store and went to um, Louis Vuitton Selfridges and tried to ask them if I can buy this particular bag. And without any questions, without any checking or, or whatever, they offered me the bag and I was able to buy it. And the SA was even asking me if there's anything that I want to buy. So I'm a little bit confused about this policy, guys. So I'm not really sure. If you have some idea regarding this, please share your thoughts in the comment down below. Now, before I end this video, I would just like to acknowledge the fact that people have different opinions about shopping. Some people believe that shopping in general is, thera is therapeutic, which I agree, but there are also those who associate impulsive or excessive shopping um, with mental health disorder, which I also agree. Although this compulsive shopping disorder is not officially described in the Diagnostic Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, Experts suggest that this may be a type of OCD or impulsive control disorder or even behavioral disorder. Now, my one note is that if you love shopping, do it in moderation. Do it in a way that it is not affecting some other aspects of your life, especially your financial aspect. Make sure you don't consistently spend more than what you can afford. Work, but don't overwork yourself to exhaustion just for you to be able to buy stuffs. Trust me, I've been there, I've done that, and in the long run, it's not worth it. Thank you so much guys for reaching the end of the video. If you like this kind of topic, please let me know in the comment section down below. And also don't forget to follow me on my other social media accounts. Bye for now, but see you on my next video. Bye! Happy shopping!